Hey there, back with another video. I just want to introduce you to some of the features on the 60D that led me to buy it for my DSLR video camera. Now, first of all, if you don't have the money to get a 5D, you're looking at the APS-C crop sensor cameras, T2i, T3i, 60D, 7D. And for me, the 60D was the best option. First and foremost, it has, well, it's a tie between the swivel screen, which you see here, and uh, it's got fingerprints all over it. Turn that on. The swivel screen is really huge for uh, video because it allows you to obviously see the camera at different angles. So, you know, you could put the camera way up high and look at the screen or way down low and look straight down at the screen. So it really allows for a lot of versatility. That and the manual audio controls, those are the two main reasons why I bought the Canon 60D. And I'm actually shooting on a T2i, uh, which was great to start with, but after I knew I wanted to stick with DSLRs for my video productions, I needed to upgrade for the manual audio and the swivel screen specifically, which the T2i doesn't have. Now, some of the features I'll mention on the Canon, D, uh, the Canon 60D, other cameras have as well, but at the time, this was the only camera that had those two things. Now, the T3i is another great option. I don't know if it has um, it, it probably has just a few less things than this one. Maybe something like the uh, top LED uh, at the top screen here, which you can illuminate. And uh, no big deal, but it's kind of a nice little feature that I enjoy using. And uh, you see here I have a really small lens. It's just an old film lens that I had back from my film photography days, which I used an adapter to attach to the Canon. You can check the uh, description of the video to get a link for all the gear that's shown here, including the adapter. And uh, this is a Manfrotto uh, 561BH, what is it, BHDV, a lot of numbers and letters, monopod, and this will be in the, in the description as well. And uh, also for the uh, Canon 60D, it has incremental ISO, so it has more ISO options, uh, native ISO options, what, that look better actually. Uh, a 160 ISO on the Canon 60D actually looks better than a 100 ISO. So more flexibility there. Another really huge factor is the, um, uh, the ability to, to punch in manual uh, color temperature. Kelvins, uh, you can put in 5600, 52, 32, 34, whatever you need. It's not just a preset on the camera, which a lot of cameras have. This allows you to dial in the Kelvin, which is uh, a really big feature for video producers. Some of the other stuff that I really like, obviously, is the digital, the digital zoom where you punch in, lets you get that critical focus. It's very important, five times, ten times, and uh, other cameras have that as well. Um, this has a really cool feature. Well, two really cool features. You can see the screen here. You hit the info button on the screen, and you can bring up the digital level. You can see there. There's a level on the camera, that lets you know when you're actually level and. Uh, turns green when it actually is level. And you also get uh, um, a histogram. You can to check your exposure via histogram on the screen as well. So those are two really cool things. Uh, shooting 60p, other cameras have that, but shooting 60p to conform to 24 frames for slow motion really helps. The more, the more frames you can give it, the better. Uh, 60 frames a second. The SD, uh, the high capacity SD cards, the extra high capacity, takes these in this camera, which is nice. Uh, again, the digital level. And I like the, uh, the dial on the back, and I actually like the larger form factor, or it feels better in my hand. So those are the main functions of the Canon 60D, the things that I really like and the reason why I bought it. I keep looking at my computer screen because I'm actually monitoring the video. It comes with the EOS, the EOS Canon camera utility which comes with it, so I can actually look at what I'm monitoring. Um, obviously, if I'm shooting with the 60D, I can watch myself on the flip out screen, but something like the T2i, I can't see. So I can actually see it right here on the computer, and I can actually control the functions of the camera from the desktop. All right, anyways, that's the Canon 60D. Uh, those are the reasons I purchased it, so go ahead and feel free to ask any other questions that you need uh, clarity on, and I'll see you next time.